Hello everyone. So this is the start of a completely new series on this YouTube channel. This is going to be about creating the demo for RPG Builder together. If you don't know yet, RPG Builder is going to come with its own prototype game as a demo when you install it from the asset store. And it means that um, this demo is going to be showcasing every single system that RPG Builder comes with. So it's going to be very, very useful for new users to, you know, have some content to look at and see how things are working instead of starting from scratch with no um, help. So the first thing, I'm basically going to be treating this demo as I would be um, if I was making my very own game with RPG Builder from scratch. So the first thing I would do personally is create the classes for uh, my RPG. For the demo, I want four classes. The first one is going to be Warrior. So um, a quick note, this demo is going to be created 100% with assets provided from our partners. And for example, the icon you see here was provided by a partner. I'm just going to take a quick moment to show you all the partners we have for um, RPG Builder. And you can see all the assets they provided here. So that's quite a lot of things that they provided. It's very amazing. And because of that, we are able to create a nice looking demo. Um, because if it was only me as a programmer, the demo would just be white cubes and white spheres and white ground, right? So thanks to them, we can have a demo with, you know, amazing looking assets. So definitely check the links in the description to um, their asset store page so that you can see their work. Anyway, let's get back into it and let's finish our warrior class. So um, for now, the class is just, you know, a name. We selected an icon. We could have a description, but honestly, for the demo, I'm not going to bother with that. And the things I'm going to bother with for is uh, the stat section. And for the warrior, I want the warrior to start with some extra health. So the warrior is going to start with an extra 250 health. Of course, this is 100% up to you. You don't have to do this or you could, but with different values, it's really, really 100% up to you. And on top of the health, I want him to start with extra armor. So in this case, it will start with, um, let's say 15 armor. And in case of the talent tree, this is something we will be coming back to later. So we will be creating talent trees in a, you know, separated videos, and then we'll be assigning it to the warrior class. Let's duplicate this class and call it um, summoner. There is going to be a summoner class. So Ponetti with the one providing all the icons made some icons specifically for each class. So that's pretty cool. The summoner is going to start with um, a summon count stat of one. So uh, instead of starting with one by default, like any other class is going to start with two. So it's going to be able to summon two pets instead of one by default. And um, it's also, let's give him some, I'm not sure, maybe, I'm not sure, honestly, uh, maybe some lifesteal. Let's give him um, 10 lifesteal and save that. Let's duplicate again. We're going to be creating a priest class. The priest one is going to start with um, a bonus for healing, which is going to be, um, let's type healing here, healing done modifier, let's say 15. And uh, it's going to start also with a bonus for mana. It's going to start with an extra 200 mana. So, of course, you know, you see, this is very configurable. You can do exactly what you want um, uh, with all the stats and things like that. So it's just, you know, the reason I'm doing this for now is, you know, that we can have some kind of class identity. And I'm going to be making a fourth class, which is going to be a sorcerer. The sorcerer is going to start with a damage bonus and a what could we give him 
maybe agility because it's going to give some crits so by default it's going to start to have some um, crits maybe five so that's it we have our four classes and um, we are now ready to use them in rpg builder so um, i'm gonna go and create a race now so this demo is going to have only one race it's going to be human uh, and it's supposed to have an icon i'm not sure the name of the icon so i'm just going to find it that way here and so in for the prefab uh, it's just going to be using the default prefab provided with rpg builder which is the human male and i also set up a female prefab we don't have a female character model they just have a different color for the body but that's going to um, work for now the starting scene is going to be called demo and um, we will be making a new position uh, actually war position okay we already have one so demo start point we'll be using this one that's it available classes so this is where it gets interesting we can define per race what classes i can have uh, links to them right in this case we will of course have them all because we have only one race so we'll be uh, selecting warrior sorcerer summoner and priest and as you can see uh, races can also have their own stats i'm just going to add one for fun and let's say that a warrior, I mean, human start with an intellect bonus of um, 10. You don't have to, of course, but it's just, you know, some extra layers of uh, customization. So uh, that's pretty much it. And now um, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to just quickly go in game now and show you uh, that everything we did is just automated and it's now working. So uh, we didn't have anything to do in the UI. Just by going to the new character, we see that we have a race here. We have warrior, sorcerer, summoner, and priest as uh, classes that we can select. And that's it. And all of this was automated by RPG Builder. I'm just going to click quickly create a new class just to show you that um, it is indeed automated. So let's call this one the test class. I'm going to be removing it later anyway. So, and use, you know, whatever icon save that and let's go to the race now and add this new class to uh, the list let's go back in game and if we now go to new character it's going to have the test class added to it and you can now make a human test class so that's pretty cool one last thing i want to do of course, I'm going to uh, delete this class because it's useless. But also, I want to create a new level template. So this is going to be uh, what defines the amount of levels for uh, our classes or character and the amount of experience which is needed for each level. So we will call this class level template. Let's say that classes will have uh, 50 levels. The base experience is going to be 20 or 25 maybe and it's going to increase by 10 percent per level if we click to uh, on uh, click to generate now you see that it generated 50 levels and um it also generated all the experience amount for these levels so it starts at 25 and it's increasing by um 10 percent each level and it ends up being 2667 so let's save that Let's go back to the classes and select this uh, class level template to uh, them all and save it. That's it. Uh, I'm not going to do anything else for this video. It's already pretty uh, long. I'm going to try to keep those videos around 10 minutes in general. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video for the rest of the demo.